Ciao everyone, and welcome to what's new in SolidWorks 2020. I am Gianpaolo Bassi, CEO of SolidWorks. Every year, we hear from thousands of SolidWorks users, users like you, and we get amazing ideas, insights, and requests for what's next. So, of course, we listen. We listen very closely, and then we deliver. Over this past year, you have told us you want full digital continuity, a seamless process that takes you from design to manufacturing faster than ever. You want the freedom to innovate more, and you want to work with increasingly precise simulation to reduce the risks of product failure. So we got our marching orders, and we acted on them. And we are absolutely thrilled with what's new for 2020. It's all about digitalization and integration through a connected 3D experience platform to drive faster innovation while reducing the risk of failure. In SolidWorks 2020, you'll find three main ways we are giving you the solutions you truly want and need. First, the 3D experience platform will deliver to you a connected design to manufacturing ecosystem, helping you manage every aspect of developing and delivering products, from ideation into the hands of your customers. You go from concept to completed product with unprecedented speed, and you'll do it easily and seamlessly with new and connected applications, both on the desktop and the cloud. We are delivering improved performance across the spectrum for stunning speed and unparalleled functionality. And finally, we are giving you streamlined workflows to accelerate time to market and reduce manufacturing costs, all while improving product quality. Get ready to dive in, discover, and get inspired by SolidWorks 2020. All right, welcome everybody to this year's SolidWorks 2020 launch event with Javelin Technologies. My name's Scott. And I'm Colin. And today we all have 2020 vision as we take a glimpse into the future and share with you our favorite enhancements from SolidWorks 2020. Every year, SolidWorks puts in at least 250 changes to the software. And most of those changes come from you. So to continue with that, please fill in the survey in the description. We've got many great prizes to give away as a thank you for filling out that survey including a $200 Amazon gift card, an iPad, an AMD Radeon Pro WX7100 graphics card, and a Javelin online training course. We've got so much to show you, so let's dive right in. Every year, SolidWorks makes great strides in developing a user interface that is increasingly intuitive, helping your workflow become more and more streamlined. SolidWorks 2020 is no different, and to tell you all about it, all the way, and all the way from British Columbia is our application expert, Angus Hudson. SolidWorks 2020 includes some great enhancements to the user interface. The file open list is now both wider and better organized. A new slider clearly shows the open modes to convey the level of detail being open and available options. We all love to customize our user interface. This is now easier than ever in 2020 with better organized flyouts for customizing command manager tabs and toolbars. For new or casual users, tooltips have been enhanced to include greater detail, images, and animations for better understanding of many commands. Folders, a great tool for organizing your feature tree, now support dragging multiple contiguous items, speeding the process of organization. Finally, a new search box speeds material selection, making it easy to find and select the material you want to use. Streamline your daily workflow with SolidWorks 2020. As many of you know, most features start with a sketch. This year's sketch enhancements include things like power modify, undo and redo, which is included in the touch enabled environment. G3 continuity on our curves and splines is also new this year. Let's have Brian from our Winnipeg office take us through these enhancements. Hey 
The updates to sketching for the 2020 release of SOLIDWORKS have some exciting touch capabilities and also much anticipated curvature and redo enhancements. Sketch Ink is a great way to create sketch geometry like this slot. Now with SOLIDWORKS 2020, you can enter dimensions without a keyboard. Simply touch inside the numbers field and enter the dimension using your finger. A new tool named Power Modify allows gestures to replace selecting sketching tools from a toolbar. A curved stroke will add in a fillet, while a straight line will chamfer a corner. Use an X to split entities and you can even extend geometry. Start with a squiggle and then trim away extra geometry or create offset geometry with a double stroke. Power Modify certainly puts the power of the pen to work in SOLIDWORKS. These zebra stripes show that the underlying sketch entities are continuous but have no curvature constraints. With SOLIDWORKS 2020, we can now get even smoother transitions than before with proper G3 continuity. Finally, making mistakes is part of the design process, but using the undo button too liberally may result in lost work. SOLIDWORKS 2020 makes great improvements to the redo function so that your changes aren't lost even if you accidentally undo out of a sketch. These represent some powerful updates to the sketching environment, but before we move on, let's take a look at markups. Markups have proven to be an effective form of communication between collaborators while staying directly inside a SOLIDWORKS file. With SOLIDWORKS 2020, accessing these tools is even easier now that they have their own toolbar and command manager tab. As always, markups are stored in the feature manager tree under the markups folder, and SOLIDWORKS 2020 makes finding a specific markup much easier now that the hover preview shows markups in the orientation which they were created. Once you're satisfied with your markups, export one or many to different file formats, including PDF, JPEG, and TIFF. SOLIDWORKS 2020 now supports markups in drawings. The same toolbars and workflows are available, making markups in drawings familiar and intuitive. The visibility of markups can be controlled on an individual basis from the right-click context menu, or on a global basis using the view dropdown in a heads-up display. In the past, participating in markups required a touchscreen device. Now, SOLIDWORKS 2020 supports devices without touchscreens. Simply use your mouse to click and draw. SOLIDWORKS facilitates effective communication through markups, and with SOLIDWORKS 2020, it's easier than ever to use across all files and devices. And now, what are we going to do with these sketches? Well, of course, we're going to use them to make parts. And SOLIDWORKS 2020 introduces a lot of great functionality to make working with parts even easier, including one of my favorite enhancements, a fillet repair tool. To tell you even more about it, once again out west, it's Brian. The 2020 release of SOLIDWORKS includes many exciting enhancements to the part modeling environment. To highlight a few of these which may save you the most time, let's start by taking a look at the cover for the rapid water level control model. It needs more clearance for internal components. An offset surface will work to create clearance, and now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, faces that can't be offset the desired amount are automatically identified and highlighted in the tree. You can view and remove the failing faces to allow the remaining geometry to build all at once. This streamlined workflow simplifies the process of creating offset surfaces, saving you time creating complex geometry. From here, SOLIDWORKS powerful surfacing tools make it easy to clean up the remaining surfaces and create a design that can be injection molded. To finish the design, we'll use a surface thickener to create a constant wall thickness. New in SOLIDWORKS 2020, you have the option to thicken the surface equally in both directions. The next part we will look at is an imported STL file. The need to directly edit mesh geometry is becoming more common. Filleting edges is now possible in SOLIDWORKS 2020 using the same workflow as the native SOLIDWORKS file. You can even change the fillet to a chamfer and vice versa. There are even more advanced direct editing tools which will make it easy to adjust the radius of this surface. We'll start off by offsetting the mesh surface and extending the result. 
SOLIDWORKS 2020 now supports mutual trim operations as well as knit surface, making this change to an STL file a breeze. It's common for STL files to be damaged and running a quick geometry check shows that there's an open surface. With SOLIDWORKS 2020, you can now delete those holes by right-clicking and choosing Delete Hole from the context menu or by simply selecting the edge and pressing Delete. SOLIDWORKS 2019 introduced Delete Face, which is now expanded to support delete and fill to make removing these features on the part a simple operation. All these direct editing mesh enhancements remove the need to convert many mesh files for changes. They also lead to some powerful companion tools, such as when working with complex mesh bodies like this scan for an Arctic scanner. It can be difficult for most computers due to the large number of facets, but SOLIDWORKS 2020 introduces the Mesh Decimation tool, which can simplify the model to your specifications. You simply input a percentage, decrease target, and hit calculate. Now that we've reduced the complexity of the mesh body, we want to generate a solid model. Let's start by first creating an axis through the center of the mesh geometry. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, creating reference axes and planes from mesh geometry is now supported, and the new Tangency Select tool makes quick work of selecting the facets you want while avoiding the facets you don't. After the model is complete, it can be compared to the initial mesh data using the Body Compare tool. This provides a visual heat map showing the maximum distance between the vertices of the original mesh and the finalized solid body, making it easy to find inaccurate features or features that weren't modeled at all. With tools like decimation and body compare, SOLIDWORKS 2020 makes working with complex mesh data effortless. Finally, the fillet tool. It received a major enhancement. Changes seem to be the only constant during the design process. For example, the cutout on this screen rim needs to be a separate feature to support multiple configurations in the assembly. This change is easy. We can use the contours of the existing sketch and create the features required for this chain. As expected, the mounting holes update automatically. However, the fillets have a familiar error. The edge references have changed even though the geometry is identical to the original design, and there are now missing edges in the tool. A new streamlined workflow in SOLIDWORKS 2020 can automatically repair these missing fillet edges, speeding the design change process and keeping you focused on your design. The ability to create a surface offset while ignoring faces which would otherwise fail, directly work on mesh geometry with more tools available, and have fillets magically repair themselves after a design change will undoubtedly save time and more importantly keep the design workflow progressing forward. Structure Systems was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2019, and of course, we've enhanced that further in 2020. Let's have Angus take us through some of those new great enhancements. Structure System was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2019 and provides a more flexible method to create welded structures with or without the use of complex 3D sketches to define all of the members. Let's review some of the capabilities of Structure System and take a look at several of the enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2020. In this example, the weldment will be defined with just a couple of sketches, an axis, and four planes. Primary members can be created in a variety of ways, but now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, the point and length member definition has new options. Members can now be created between pairs of sketch points or chained together to create a series of members along a chain of points. The new up to point option allows you to create members that all converge at a single reference point, and the new up to plane option creates members that terminate at a selected plane. The member extrudes in the direction of the reference plane, or you can choose a sketch segment as a direction to define the members. As introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2019, Secondary members can be added using support planes, and for these, a different weldment profile will be used. The top of these members need to align with the selected planes, and to accomplish this, an alternate pierce point can be selected. Another secondary cross member can be added using the between points method, and will define this member to go between the corners. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, primary and secondary members can now be split during creation. Splitting can be done using dimension, instance count, 
or by selecting a reference, such as a face, plane, or structural member. And for this member, we'll also rotate the profile by 90 degrees. When you are finished defining the structure system, the corner management tool kicks in and allows you to define the corner trim. For the simple corners, we'll define a planar trim with full contact to the intersecting member. For the complex corners, SOLIDWORKS does a fantastic job of determining the trim tool, as well as the trim order for the intersecting members. Hiding the vertical member, you can see what a great job SOLIDWORKS did on the corner management. To create the circular structure that was shown in the beginning of this demonstration, we need to pattern the structure system. Previously, bodies could be patterned to achieve this, but now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, you can create linear and circular patterns or mirror the entire structure system. By patterning the structure system, you are maintaining the intelligence of each of the members and additional structure systems can be added to the patterned members. This was not possible when patterning bodies. In this example, we will add a new structure system to define the perimeter members. These are added using the support plane method between the original structure system and the patterned members, and the pierce point will be defined to align to the planes. Upon exit of this structure system, the corner management tool determines the corners between the new members and the first structure system and its patterned members, and determines the proper trim tool member and trim order. This perimeter structure system can also be patterned to complete the design. The structure system feature was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2019 and enhanced in 2020, providing an advanced weldment environment that lets you create and modify structural members of different profiles in a single feature with flexible corner management and trimming. The structure system tool set is really gonna help us design and manufacture larger and more complicated welded assemblies in SOLIDWORKS 2020. And that brings us to our next section assembly. You know, SOLIDWORKS designers are working with larger and more complicated assemblies than they ever have before. And in SOLIDWORKS 2020, increased functionality is going to make that even easier. To tell you more about it is our applications expert, Claudia. Working on complex assemblies with multiple systems and designers can be a challenge especially when work needs to reference other sub-assemblies. Previous workflows would either have work done at the top level assembly or require duplicate parts in sub-assemblies. These add significant time and could be difficult to manage. Envelopes have long been a great tool for reference components that do not affect calculations or bombs. With the new envelope publisher in SOLIDWORKS 2020, envelopes are no longer limited to components in the same assembly. Now we can simply select the components needed for a reference and a destination assembly. Once the envelope is created, we can open the same destination assembly to complete the task. Now it is easy to finish all the plumbing design work in one place. We can add reference geometry or mate directly to the envelope components, ensuring the design will fit in the top level assembly. The Quick Mates toolbar introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2014 provides a means to rapidly assemble components directly from the graphics area. SOLIDWORKS 2020 extends this popular tool by adding additional commonly used mates. Let's take a look. When mating the washer to the slot, the Quick Mates toolbar now includes the slot mate and provides options for choosing its constraint. For this case, we'll center it in the slot. The screw needs to be mated to the washer, and we have long had the ability to do this with the profile center mate from the Quick Mates toolbar. But there was no way to flip the mate alignment without editing the mate after creating it. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, a new flip alignment button pops up, allowing you to flip the mate on creation. Just as with the slot mate, the constraint options are available for the width mate to establish its position. Previously, there was no way to flip the alignment of a width mate. Users had to suppress the mate rotate the part, and then unsuppress the mate. The new flip alignment button pops up, allowing alignment changes on the fly. In addition, when editing a mate, the option to flip mate alignment is now available on the right mouse menu, as well as in the property manager. Limit mates have also been added to the Quick Mates toolbar. Both the limit distance and limit angle mates are now available to quickly position components in the assembly. The angle, maximum, and minimum values can be entered immediately to keep your focus directly on the screen. 
Assembly patterns provide an efficient way to add multiple copies of components to your assemblies. And SOLIDWORKS 2020 introduces new enhancements to these productivity features. Pattern-driven component patterns are now more intelligent in that they understand the orientation of whole wizard features that are created with 3D sketches on multiple faces. This means a single pattern can now be used to copy the associate fasteners without the need to skip instances or use multiple patterns. Linear and circular component patterns are now more flexible by allowing you to modify each component instance within the pattern. When mirroring components, sometimes the option to use center of bounding box or center of mass do not provide the desired results. The new option to use component origins makes the mirror component command more robust for parts that are not symmetric within the previous two cases. Likewise, the option to change the orientation of mirrored components is now easier to understand with quick access buttons within the property manager. Assembly patterns are now easier to create, more flexible in their control, and more intelligent in their execution in SOLIDWORKS 2020. Working with CAD data from a variety of sources is critical to getting your job done. 3D Interconnect changed the way that users interact with this data by allowing you to directly reference native or neutral CAD files without the need for translation. SOLIDWORKS 2020 simplifies this workflow by allowing you to drag and drop native and neutral CAD files from Window Explorer into your assemblies like any other SOLIDWORKS component. Additionally, 3D Interconnect in SOLIDWORKS 2020 adds support for new formats, including 3D DWGs and DXS, as well as ISC, enabling you to work directly with more files without the need for translation. The Tilt-A-Jet represents the latest in OMAX innovation. By positioning the nozzles at calculated angles, the taper from the abrasive water jet is offset. This means that the parts are cut with square edges and cutting times can be reduced. Like OMAX, SOLIDWORKS continues to innovate with flexible components so you can improve your design to manufacture process. Subassemblies are used to represent the multiple mechanisms and linkages in the tilt jet These assemblies are made flexible so the mechanical motion can be evaluated at the top level. To finish this design and protect the moving parts from the abrasive material, O-rings and bellows are put in place. But how do you make them flexible so that they can properly connect to the rest of the assembly? With SOLIDWORKS 2020, this task is dramatically simplified as the new Make Part Flexible tool allows you to remap the external references of the part with ease. In this case, the 3D path of the bellows will reference the cylindrical face of the pivot ball housing, causing the geometry to update and continue to update automatically after each assembly movement. This optimizes your data management and efficiency, bringing parts to life. Whether it be living hinges, bellows, springs, cables, and beyond, use Make Part Flexible to improve how you visualize and validate your next assembly. All these great new enhancements make working with assemblies in SOLIDWORKS 2020 faster, easier, and more efficient than ever, allowing you to take your design to the next level. SOLIDWORKS 2020 delivers some powerful new productivity enhancements to make documenting your designs even faster. On a drawing, changing the sheet scale is easily accessible from the status bar. But now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, the list of available drawing scales is customizable. This list is controlled by a text file containing the preferred scales for each standard. In SOLIDWORKS 2019, if you want a custom scale that is not on the list, it took several picks to access the sheet properties and enter the desired scale. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, it gets even easier. Now you can enter a custom scale with just two clicks, key in the scale and hit enter. It doesn't get any easier than that. When creating a detailed view, SOLIDWORKS always doubles the scale of the originating view. Now, changing a specific view scale from the property manager is directly accessible, requiring fewer picks than SOLIDWORKS 2019. SOLIDWORKS 2020 introduces a new dimension type, the chain dimension. Similar to the baseline dimension, you select the start and continue to add dimensions between items of interest, and SOLIDWORKS chains together a stack of dimensions. An overall dimension can also be added to define the complete stack. If dimensions are deleted from the chain, the other dimensions adjust, including the overall dimension. The chain dimension can be converted to baseline dimension and vice versa. Also, now both the chain and baseline dimensions can be used in the sketch environment. 
Alternate position views are a great way to depict the motion of an assembly on a drawing, but previously it was limited to assembly models. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, alternate position views can be created from part models as well. This is useful when you have one part that is made from another, such as a cast and machine part like this pump housing. Virtual reality in eDrawings Professional enables users to explore their designs at a one-to-one -one scale using a VR headset. Originally introduced in 2019 as a beta feature, eDrawings Professional 2020 now fully supports virtual reality and delivers several enhancements. Just open a native SOLIDWORKS model in VR, put on a headset, and jump into your design. It's that easy. Visual quality is greatly improved in eDrawings 2020. With support for transparency, full scene anti-aliasing, and ambient occlusion, which gives your model a more realistic appearance. There are more options to control the sky and floor, including the option to add your own custom environment images and fade the horizon to remove the hard line between the floor and sky. With the new transparency support, you can see through clear objects such as glass doors, and ambient occlusion enhances shadowing, providing a more natural, realistic look. Performance has always been a major focus for SOLIDWORKS, and this year is no different. With detailing mode in SOLIDWORKS 2020, you can now open massive drawings in seconds, regardless of their size and complexity. The model does not get loaded, but the drawing views are intact, so there is no loss of detail. Detailing mode is perfect for quickly opening drawings for minor edits or design reviews. Individual sheets load in an instant, and the drawings can also be printed. But it does not stop there. Some editing capabilities are available as well, such as making changes to annotations or dimensions. Notes can be added to the drawing or dragged from a library of company notes, and annotations added in detailing mode can also be edited. In this case, we can add line numbers and formatting to the note. As with the resolve drawing, drawing views can be moved and arranged on the drawing. Dimensions can also be positioned to achieve the desired layout. Views can also be cut, copied, and pasted. And to better organize this drawing, we'll add a new sheet, reposition the tab, and paste the view onto this new sheet. If additional dimensioning is required, this can be done in detailing mode as well. Dimensions can be added to edges and vertices as done in resolved drawings. In this case, we'll add some dimensions to locate the positioning holes for the gantry system. We'll also define the hole size and you can see that the dimension palette is available to fine tune your dimension with notes and tolerances, or the dimension property manager can be used for more refinement. Any command that is not grayed out in the command manager is available in detailing mode, such as the format painter. Here, we'll leverage the existing dimension and paint its formats to our new dimensions. Revision tables, symbols, and clouds can also be added to communicate any changes. When you're done with your edits and the drawing has been saved, these edits will be there regardless of which mode the drawing is opened with next. To communicate with external collaborators, you can print the drawing or you can save it as a variety of formats such as DWG, JPEG, or PDF. Whether you need better drawing performance or innovative new ways to interrogate your designs, the enhanced drawing capabilities in SOLIDWORKS 2020 have you covered. That detailing mode is absolutely fantastic. It's going to make it so much easier for us to work efficiently with our large drawings. That brings me to my next section, which is data management. You know, every company, whether it's small or large, needs an efficient way to control their data and their processes. And there's really no better way to do this than PDM and SOLIDWORKS Manage. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, there have been some fantastic new enhancements to make working with your data even easier. And to tell you all about it is Scott. PDM is a vital part of your company's data structure. To make sure that your files are secure, safe, and easy to access, SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 gives data management a huge boost in efficiency and flexibility. From generic file browsing to looking up references and accessing detail. The improved performance of SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 makes your day-to-day -day experience more efficient. When you access files and folders, data is now loaded asynchronously. This means you do not have to wait for the file contents to load before you can browse into a subfolder. 
This also means that you can toggle between the Bill of Materials, Contains, and Where Use tabs without delay. Details continue to load in the background and are cached until you move on to another file. Not only do you have more browsing flexibility, but the improved communication between you and the PDM server delivers a faster experience overall. This is also seen with the SOLIDWORKS CAD add-in. Similar to File Explorer, data in the task pane loads in the background, so you can get to work right away. In-demand actions, like file tree refresh, is now accelerated, and the user interface instantly updates based on your file selection. This is especially powerful when you have a high latency connection to the PDM server, allowing you and your coworkers to easily stay on task. The increased performance of SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 makes your day-to-day -day use faster than ever before. SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 introduces a new workflow condition to validate the state of reference files. For example, you may want a part and its drawing to travel together through their life cycle, or at the very least, ensure the part is released before or during the release of its drawing. Use the new child reference state condition to enforce the behavior. In this case, the part referenced by the drawing is in the under change state. Once the change is approved, the drawing may be submitted for approval. This time, the workflow will recognize that all of its reference files are in the required state, and the drawing can be released. Another example is during the release of an assembly, the new workflow condition can check to see if any parts are obsolete, and if they are, prevent the assembly from getting released. In the transition dialog, use the warnings and states column to understand what needs to be done. In this case, a component within a subassembly is obsolete and needs to be replaced. Now with child reference state conditions, SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 makes it easy to follow approval processes and ensure the correct data gets released. Searching for files in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 is made simple using the new quick search functionality. Easily access the new search fields in the top right corner of File Explorer or hit Control F on your keyboard and start typing. Predictive search is enabled based on your search history, and you can use your arrow and enter keys to select and repeat a common search. Quick Search is also configurable, where you can choose to search from one or many variables in addition to location and version details. You can now use operators like and, or, not, equal to, less than, and greater than, so you can find exactly what you're looking for without filling out multiple fields or manually sorting through various search results. Traditional search cards can utilize the new multiple variable field as well, so you can improve their usability and efficiency in both search environments. Columns can now be easily moved with a drag and drop, so you and every other user can organize search results as you please. Searching with SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 enables you to find the correct data fast with a simple experience. The need to access data online continues to increase. The Web2 client of SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 delivers expanded capabilities to answer this growing need. From any device with an internet browser, you can now audit and review the history of files by accessing the new tab in the File Detail view. A Bill of Materials tab has also been added, giving you access to the computed Weldment and native SOLIDWORKS Bill of Materials. When you want to download any of the data, a new download with references page provides options to help ensure you're downloading exactly what you want. Choose the associated versions, drawings, simulation data, and more from a simple, responsive user interface. Improve how you access and work with your data with SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020. Managing projects, bills of materials, and processes, real-time interactive dashboards and reports, this is what many companies struggle with and what SOLIDWORKS Manage solves. Managing a project is no simple feat. Project management with SOLIDWORKS Manage, however, enables you to tightly integrate with resources and deliverables throughout your organization. With the 2020 release, it's easier to get started by importing current and upcoming projects. Visualize the life of your projects and plan the capacity of your resources. If you have projects and other tools like Microsoft Project, you can now import them as XML. 
Start, finish, duration, predecessors, and registered users are automatically recognized so you can start connecting tasks and deliverables right away. Load charts, hurt charts, and network diagrams are now available so you can visualize your project how you want and communicate your projects in a variety of formats. Often, you may have multiple active projects with common resources. With the new capacity planning in Manage, you can automatically calculate available time from your resources, as well as the demand from your projects. Holidays and absences may be included as well, so you can easily take control of your operational efforts and costs. Improve the effectiveness of your project management with SOLIDWORKS Manage 2020. Task management is vital to drive individual and team productivity. SOLIDWORKS Manage integrates this effort with your documents, processes, and projects to keep everything connected in one easy to access location. With the 2020 release, task creation and delegation is streamlined using task templates. Create a task template to predefine the subject priority time allocated, assignee, task details, and notes of your repeatable activities. With these templates in place, you can quickly populate the details of your next task and include any specifics. In this case, a unique attachment is added. This makes it quick and easy for the assignee to get to work without searching for the right data. Streamline your task creation and delegation with SOLIDWORKS Manage 2020. Process standardization leads to improved quality, productivity, and morale. To aid this effort, SOLIDWORKS Manage provides powerful process management capabilities to automate simple and complex workflows. With the 2020 release, these capabilities have expanded, making it easier to incorporate unique details and data from various sources. When you start a process and manage, like an engineering change, you can simply add affected items and their related references. This is easily accomplished by right-clicking on the primary record and choosing to add related records. With SOLIDWORKS Manage 2020, multiple related records can be added at once, even if they are stored in different objects like libraries, bills of materials, PDM, and beyond. This greatly reduces the time to accurately capture the necessary records when starting a process. SOLIDWORKS Manage 2020 also supports new scenarios for processes. Special objects like risk, project issues, and product requirements can now be added to a process so you can automate their disposition. If process items need to be split so that they go to different stages, you can use the new sub-process capability. For example, in the engineering change scenario, you can specify some files to use the express route, while the others use the standard route. The relationships between the parent and child processes are captured so you can easily navigate to the parent process and see all of the associated sub-processes. With SOLIDWORKS Manage, it's easier to set the standard so you can improve the quality, productivity, and morale at your company. Information is everywhere and aggregating it manually can take more time than it's worth. SOLIDWORKS Manage 2020 makes this effort easier by introducing Microsoft Outlook integration and expanded integration with SOLIDWORKS PDM. Emails in Microsoft Outlook can now be saved directly in SOLIDWORKS Manage. For situations where you have an existing process or case, click Save Emails into Existing Record in Outlook and search for the record of interest. When you need to access the email in the future, go to the Emails tab on the record to view it. With this integration, you don't have to remember additional steps to associate emails with records. Simply link the email to a record directly from Outlook. Accessing emails like this and all of the additional information available in Manage are now accessible directly in SOLIDWORKS PDM. Just navigate to the desired area in the SOLIDWORKS Manage tab. With the integration with Outlook and PDM, SOLIDWORKS Manage streamlines your experience capturing and accessing important information. Keeping yourself and others current with constantly changing information in your company is a challenge. SOLIDWORKS Manage 2020 introduces new ways to access and share this information and alleviate the burden. With a new dedicated dashboard viewer installed on community monitors, you can display relevant information to keep everyone up to date with your company activities. These dashboards are displayed in real time by using the automatic refresh setting. 
With this, you never have to manually publish updates again. When you want more in-depth access remotely, use the enhanced plenary web client from your internet browser. With SolidWorks Manage 2020, the home and projects modules in addition to expanded capabilities with SolidWorks PDM are now available. Review your active tasks and update your projects without installing any software. You can even check files in and out and change their state using Manage Processes so that your work stays in sync with the rest of your team. Use the new dashboard viewer and enhanced plenary web client with SolidWorks Manage 2020 to keep everyone up to date and engaged. So those are a lot of great enhancements to SolidWorks PDM and SolidWorks Manage. These are two great systems that not only keep our data connected, but also our teams connected. Now let's take a look at SolidWorks Simulation. As we go through our designs, we want to validate that we're on the right track. So SolidWorks 2020 brings in a lot of great new enhancements to make this job easier for you to validate your designs. Let's take a look. Companies rely on simulation in their design process. With SolidWorks 2020, use Shift-C to collapse the tree and take control of the simulation feature manager. The new simulation evaluator provides a single resource to review important details of your setup. You can quickly verify where results will be written and ensure you have enough resources. Simulation results from other locations can easily be reattached. Additionally, you can review assigned materials and even compare the simulation mesh volume to the part volume to ensure a quality check. This quick simulation sanity check gives you the important details you need to achieve the best results quickly. Finally, with 2020, any study can be deleted without loading results, saving time when removing unwanted data. SolidWorks 2020 adds new functionality that improves performance when analyzing assemblies. You can now use a draft or high quality mesh per part in the assembly study. This option improves performance, allows for larger studies and delivers high quality results quickly and where you need them. Bolt and pin connectors have also been improved with SOLIDWORKS 2020, allowing users to select between a rigid or distributed connection type. The new distributed connection option provides improved formulation for the connector, delivering more realistic stress and displacement results, and eliminating hotspots and results at the bolt and nut heads. In SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2020, nonlinear static and dynamic studies now have the option to calculate free body forces at all time steps. Simply list result forces and choose the new free body option. Select the part of interest and the free body forces are listed, giving you immediate feedback on complex design validations. Thermal stresses can be key to the accuracy of your validation. Accounting for this is critical on high precision equipment like the positioning structure for the cutting nozzle on the OMAX water jet. Simulation users know the performance gain by leveraging appropriate mesh types, solids, shells, and beams when doing assembly analysis with SOLIDWORKS simulation. In 2020, you can now apply a temperature constraint to beams. These can be applied to both beam bodies and joints in the static study. Also new in 2020, Thermal studies now support beam elements. In addition to temperatures, you can now apply convection, heat power, and flux, and even radiation to beams. Matching existing functionality, the results from the thermal study can be used as input to a static study with the same mesh for both steady state and transient thermal studies. This new functionality in SOLIDWORKS 2020 provides a comprehensive thermal analysis to your most critical design requirements. Preparing your injection molding simulations is now faster and more intuitive in SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2020. You can now define more setup criteria and parameters directly to the 3D model without the need to first mesh any geometry. Domains define the physical elements of your design and are used by SOLIDWORKS Plastics to define what to simulate on each component. You can now simply right click and define these domains from the plastic study prior to meshing any of the geometry. Likewise, 
Boundary conditions define the functional parameters of your simulation, such as the injection location into your cavities, including plastic flow rates, the clamp force and shutoff direction of the mold and cooling inputs and outputs to define cooling parameters of the injection molding process. Just like domains, these boundary conditions can be applied directly to the 3D model without the need to first mesh any of the geometry. This saves you time in setting up your plastic simulation and also allows domains and boundary conditions to update when changes are made to the 3D model. The ability to test and validate our designs before they ever see the shop floor is a fantastic way to help eliminate costs and waste that we might see from errors that appear downstream in our process. Next up, let's talk about SOLIDWORKS Electrical and PCB. We have a lot of great enhancements in these two packages, and to tell you all about them is Delvin. SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2020 has new functionality to keep your data secure and accurate. Electrical users can be assigned to user right profiles or groups that control how much users can view and modify. Previously, five profiles with gradient permission levels were provided. In 2020, we can create new profiles and enable functionality access with one click. Administrators now have more granular control over user right access. Now looking at my reports, I would like to pass this bill of materials off to my part supplier, but I need to make some edits first. The headers are not standing out enough. I'd like to make the text bigger, but also add some white space above and below. Now in 2020, in addition to changing text height, you can define the row height. You can select fixed data to set a customer row height or opt for the maximum height to set an incremental value. I would also like to add row numbers to make it simple for them to read. While you're in 2020, you can add rows to any report with a click of a button, making it easier than ever to get your reports ready. Row numbers dynamically update with filters, and sorts or other edits, thus preventing errors. SOLIDWORKS Electrical is continually improving reports, making customized reports fast and easy. In designs like this telescope, calculations around the center of mass and moment of inertia are essential. The approximately 4,000 fiber optic cables coming from the instrument will add significant weight to the rotating portion of the assembly. The instrument position accuracy needs to be incredibly precise just the tilt degree must be correct to four decimal places. SOLIDWORKS 2020 includes the ability to fill in mass properties for wires, cables, and even coverings, including partial coverings. This can be defined from the SOLIDWORKS electrical libraries or from the routing manager. So, in addition to generating route subassemblies with circuit summaries and pinout details, we will now have the mass calculated automatically, even as changes are made to the route. We can easily understand how the wires and cables will affect the center of mass and moment of inertia in the project. Text and balloons with leader lines are a common method to convey design notes. In 2020, we can add in these annotations with dedicated commands and a leader style manager which takes us one step closer to a connected design ecosystem, thus making it easy to finish design work from system setup to final project deliverables and get products to market quickly with SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2020. Rigid Flex PCB is a common design approach for hardware manufacturers. This design method is now supported as a part of SOLIDWORKS 2020 connected design ecosystem with SOLIDWORKS PCB. Starting with a standard rigid section in the layer stack manager, you now have advanced section where you can create flex and adjust layers that are included in the flex. Here we have two layers with overlays for the flex region. Next, we can define regions of the board to be okay. Next, 
we need to define regions of the board to be either rigid or flex in the new board planning area. SOLIDWORKS PCB makes it easy to see how regions are defined. Creating a split or bend line is intuitive with simple right mouse click. Selecting the bend line lets us go and review and modify the bend angles and radius. Here, the bend line is defined as 45 degrees with a 255 mil radius. It's fast and easy. Using the 3D board view, you clearly see the rigid and flex sections. To best visualize the PCB layout as folded, we'll animate the bends and show how the rigid and flex areas interact with each other. For view manipulation in 3D, let's go see how the board folds together with a more realistic appearance. Connecting the PCB and mechanical design disciplines is the real value of SOLIDWORKS connected design ecosystem. Push the PCB to SOLIDWORKS and the mechanical designer can pull it directly into the assembly. The mechanical designer can also make changes to the board and propose changes and push them back to the PCB designer. Here we'll modify the 45 degree flex bend to 90 degrees, an easy change in SOLIDWORKS. The mechanical designer can push the change board back to SOLIDWORKS PCB using PCB services and the PCB designer will immediately see the proposed modifications. They can decide whether to accept or reject them. Now that's fully connected mechanical and electrical design. The new rigid flex capability as part of the connected design ecosystem in SOLIDWORKS 2020 makes it easier than ever to create your most complex electromechanical designs. Up next is SOLIDWORKS Composer. When you need to create technical documentation such as user guides, assembly procedures, and such, this is the tool of choice. Let's have Vicky show us what's new in 2020. SOLIDWORKS Composer lets you easily repurpose existing 3D models to rapidly create and update high quality graphical assets that are fully associated with your 3D design. Eliminating waste is a common practice to increase the value of your processes. When cutting precious materials, OMAX provides the 715 Max Jet nozzle to reduce waste in material by making narrower cuts. Like OMAX, SOLIDWORKS continues to reduce waste in your processes with the release of SOLIDWORKS Composer 2020. The CAD model of the Max Jet nozzle contains multiple named and exploded views necessary to document the design. With SOLIDWORKS Composer 2020, all of your SOLIDWORKS views are now included when you open the model so you don't waste time recreating them. This makes it quick and easy to create a custom exploded animation with Composer and now you have more formats available to you to save your animation in, like Flash and MP4. Even though animations can have a big impact on your audience, still images are often still necessary. SOLIDWORKS Composer 2020 now provides the option to publish a 360 degree view of your model in a series of raster or vector images. This makes it faster than ever to publish images where multiple view angles are needed or when reviewing image options with other stakeholders. SOLIDWORKS Composer 2020 helps you eliminate waste in your processes by leveraging more information from your CAD model and automating content publishing tasks. In an increasingly digital world, the need for 2D drawings is becoming less and less as more of our customers are dimensioning their models directly on the models themselves. This is known as model-based definition, and SOLIDWORKS 2020 has some fantastic enhancements to make this process even easier. SOLIDWORKS MBD helps companies define and organize PMI, or product and manufacturing data, including 3D model data and published to industry standard file formats. With SOLIDWORKS MBD, dimensions, notes, and symbols are automatically placed on annotation views and 3D views can be used to organize 3D PMI in a structured, easy to locate fashion. 
In SOLIDWORKS 2020, individual annotations are now listed under each annotation view to help visualize the relationship between annotations and the view on which it was assigned. When you select an annotation in the Feature Manager design tree, it's highlighted in the graphics area and annotations can now be easily hidden or shown. The names of the Demo Expert annotations now follow a new format which adds the feature name and dimension value to the previous format. By default, annotations appear in the subfolders that correspond to the view to which they belong, but can also be sorted by annotation type such as dimensions, datums, notes, and symbols for better organization. With SOLIDWORKS MBD, companies can capture all of their required PMI to guide the manufacturing process directly in 3D, helping to streamline production, reduce errors, and eliminate traditional 2D drawings. SOLIDWORKS CAM was introduced in 2018 and since then has continued to improve the way we machine our parts directly within the SOLIDWORKS interface. SOLIDWORKS CAM 2020 offers fantastic new functionality to help us create and manipulate our complex machining paths. In SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional, we now have the ability to create probing operations. It's easy to create a new probing operation and associate it to an existing setup. Choose the desired probe from your tool crib and select the previously machined surfaces to create new coordinate references for the subsequent machining operations. Like all CAM operations, it's easy to move the probing operation in the tree prior to machining the mounting features. From here, you can quickly simulate the new toolpath for the probe, much easier than adding this operation during post-processing. Machined features like this groove require precise vertical measurement. Using the new probing operation functionality makes this easy. This time, the previously machined bolt surface is used to create a new vertical reference. After probing, the groove depth can be created with a tighter tolerance. Custom machine components like this roof panel for the Omax water jet require special attention to manufacture. The three large cutouts need to remain attached to ensure the large scrap pieces don't damage the machine or ruin the part. SOLIDWORKS CAM 2020 introduces tab cutting a new option to generate this critical toolpath detail versus manually adding these operations in post-processing. Users have full control over the size of the tabs and thickness options when cutter depth is a factor. You can specify both the number of tabs and their spacing with individual offset control. Additional options allow for further refinement of the toolpath setup to ensure the highest quality output and optimal machine performance. With the operation updates complete, the regenerated toolpath can be simulated, giving you complete confidence in your manufacturing setup. With these great enhancements in SOLIDWORKS CAM 2020, generating your machine paths directly within the SOLIDWORKS interface is now faster and easier than ever. SOLIDWORKS Visualize has been a game changer when companies need a quick and easy way to create photorealistic renderings of their designs. Visualize 2020 further pushes realism and efficiency to give hyper-real look to your product before manufacturing even begins. New lighting capabilities have been introduced to take advantage of IES lighting profiles. These mimic real-world lighting effects and can really push the realism of your renders. IES profiles are included in SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2020 and can be downloaded from many lighting manufacturers, which make applying the lights quick and easy. SOLIDWORKS Visualize is also more efficient when rendering multiple instances of geometry like component patterns and assemblies. Instancing in SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2020 can improve performance and reduce GPU memory requirements for large assembly renders. Visualize 2020 offers further support for some new formats and features. It now supports AXF and GITF to allow for more, even more compatibility. Visualize 2019 introduced the option of utilizing the MDL file format, which allows for professionally curated materials by NVIDIA to be applied directly to your Visualize project with a drag and drop. MDL files were a huge addition to Visualize, but there were still some limitations on how we could interact with them. In Visualize 2020, these limitations are a thing of the past, as we have full control over things like texture scaling and sizing. 
As well as color fields and parameters, this allows us to further customize MDL files for the use in our rendering environments. Visualize has increased hardware support too. In previous versions of Visualize, NVIDIA cards were required to take advantage of GPU rendering for faster renders. In Visualize 2020, AMD ProRender is fully supported to utilize GPU rendering on AMD Workstation graphics cards. One of the biggest enhancements in 2020 for SOLIDWORKS Visualize is the integration with SOLIDWORKS PDM. Protecting your data is critical in any business, and your Visualize projects are no different. This integration allows for your visualized files to collaborate with PDM workflows. Be sure to check out all the great improvements in SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2020 and bring your projects to life. SOLIDWORKS Cell is an efficient way for companies to share their designs directly with their customers, allowing them to configure and personalize the designs to get them exactly the way that they want them before ordering. Let's see more of what SOLIDWORKS Cell can offer you in SOLIDWORKS 2020. Manufacturers like Omax are constantly seeking new ways to engage their customers and easily share their countless options and customizations available in their product line. SOLIDWORKS Cell builds interactive product configurators quickly so internal teams, stakeholders, and customers can select their own options, configurations, colors, and customizations all online, anywhere, anytime, and on any device. For example, on this OMAX WaterJet page, you can fine-tune door colors, safety setups, nozzle types, and base supports out of thousands of possibility. And even better, the favorite combination can be reviewed in the actual space with augmented reality to check its size, style, and surrounding context. Going further with SOLIDWORKS Cell, the online traffic analytics feedback can help your business optimize both design and production. Now you can connect your products with your customers in a new interactive way using SOLIDWORKS Cell and really stand out from your competitors. So that SOLIDWORKS Cell was amazing. Getting from design to market was such ease. Yeah, it's just one more amazing offering from SOLIDWORKS in 2020. Um, I mean, out of all the great enhancements, what would you say was your favorite? For me, it's gotta be the flexible parts. Being able to have an assembly where as you move your parts, that part so dynamically updates is amazing to me. How about you? What do you think? I really like the detailing mode. I mean, our customers are working with larger and larger assemblies all the time, and with that come large drawings. So the ability to open it without loading the model geometry to annotate is it's just awesome. Uh, and I mean, with so many enhancements, we'd like to hear from you. So don't forget that there's a survey link there in the description. Uh, and remember all of the great prizes you can win for filling it out. So we've seen a lot of great enhancements this year. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, looking forward to working with many of you throughout the year. And again, come out next year to see Launch 2021.